Hey, what is going on, guys? My name's Long Sensation, and today we've got for you guys some more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare information. And for this video, we're going to be covering a ton of leaked information that was leaked in the past couple of hours, and uh, due to copyright reasons and due to me not wanting to get a strike. All of the images will be over on my Twitter account, so you can go in the description and go and follow me over on Twitter, and you'll be able to see all of the images there. But in this video, I'm just going to be talking about information, and I'm just going to be giving you uh, kind of the, the audio instead of actual visual evidence. But like I said, go over to Twitter, and you'll be able to see all of the images there. Uh, as well as this, guys, the gameplay in the background was a 39 gun streak taken from my live stream. I live stream at 8 p.m. UK time every single day. So go over to my Twitch if you want to check, you know, gameplays out. We talk about advanced warfare and all that kind of good stuff. But let's get into today's video. So first of all, we're going to cover all of the weapons within Advanced Warfare. These are going to be all of the primary weapons, so let's get straight into it. First of all, there's going to be six submachine guns, the KF-5, the MP-11, the ASM-1, the SN-6, the SAC-3, and the AMR-9. Now, in my own personal opinion, the ASM-1 was the best at the Eurogamer build, so it's going to be interesting to see if any submachine guns are actually going to beat that weapon because it was in incredibly strong. Now quickly moving on to the sniper rifles, there's going to be a total of four sniper rifles, the Lynx which we've seen from Call of Duty Ghosts, the Moors which we've seen at Eurogame and Gamescon, that is the uh, rail sniper rifle, then we have the NA45 and the Atlas 20mm. So it appears like we're going to get one bolt action sniper rifle, two semi-automatic uh, uh, sniper rifles and then one uh, rail gun which will be the Moors which kind of acts like a bolt action sniper rifle very very strong uh, and overall uh, overpowered weapon in my opinion now quickly moving on to the assault rifles we're only going to get six assault rifles this year which is quite surprising but we've got the bal 27 the ak-12 the arx 160 the hbra3 the imr and the mk-14 now in my own opinion the imr is definitely the most uh, strongest weapon out of all these Kills people in pretty much one burst and of course it's Prince Bullets as you go along. Now let's quickly move on to the shotguns. We're only going to get three shotguns this year. The TAC-19, the S-12 and the Bulldog. So the Bulldog there is quite uh, surprising and, and actually quite worrying considering how strong it was within Call of Duty Ghost. But it's going to be interesting to see how that's actually going to work with the XOR suits. Now finally moving on to the heavy weapons. This is where uh, the laser weapons and the light machine guns belong. We've got the EM-1, the Pytech, the XMG, the EMP-3 and the Amelie, which of course was in Call of Duty Ghost. So I'm not sure what the XMG is actually going to be. It appears to be some kind of laser weapon as well. But like I said, once the game is released, we'll have, have Anson experience with all of the weapons and we'll be able to give uh, some nice little breakdowns on this channel uh, for you guys as well. Now let's quickly move over to the score streaks. And uh, we're going to begin with the Aerial Recon Drone, which I think is going to be some kind of... Um, very, very low kind of uh, UAV. It is lower than the UAV. The UAV is next on the kill streak list. We've then got the aerial assault drone, which appears to be some kind of, you know, like uh, the Dragonfire, but a very dim downed and AI based version of the, uh, you know, the Dragonfire from Black Ops 2. We've then got the orbital care package, the remote turret, the system hack, the S. Uh, XS-1 Vulcan, the Missile Strike, the Bombing Run, the Warbird, and then the Paladin. So I have to say I'm actually surprised by these score streaks, although they can all be kind of altered and changed to actually uh, have a massive variation of kill streaks. I'm really surprised there's no kill streaks like the Dogs or the Swarm or anything like that within there. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that there's going to be a day one patch that will actually add more weapons and kill streaks and stuff like that. But as of yet, this is all of the kill streaks we actually know of. Now, quickly moving on to all of the game modes. We actually received some confirmation on this yesterday, but I was going to do that video today. But we actually received all this leaked information, so I thought I'd just put it into today's video. We've got Team Deathmatch, Domination, Kill Confirmed, Uplink, Momentum, Hardpoint, Search and Destroy, Search and Rescue, Capture the Flag, Free For All, uh, the Bonus Playlist, the Hardcore Playlist, the Ranked Playlist, and the Classic Playlist. Now, 
Uh, we're not really sure what game modes are going to be within, you know, the other various playlists. Of course, in, in the bonus playlist, there's going to be Infected and Gun Game in Hardcore. I believe there's going to be Hardcore TDM, Hardcore Kill Confirmed, Hardcore Domination, and Hardcore Search and Destroy. That's all of the confirmed game modes for Hardcore at the moment. Ranked Play will more likely be, uh, you know, the classic uh, Hardpoint uh Search and Destroy and possibly Uplink or, or Capture the Flag and uh, finally the classic playlist will probably be uh, Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirmed, Domination and Search and Destroy but without the EXO suit. So this is all the kind of confirmed information we've got at the moment. We've also received tons of information on attachments and stuff like that. Oh and we've also got the, the map names which I'll quickly go over, we already know these but uh, just in case you didn't know, we've got uh, Ascend, Biolab, Comeback, Defender, Detroit, Green Band, Horizon, Instinct, Recovery, Retreat, Riot, Solar and Terrace. So that's all of the maps within the game. But that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm really sorry that it was all kind of sporadic and different, but uh, this is just a ton of information. Like I said, if you want to see all of the information, all of the leaked images, please go over to my Twitter account, which will be in the description. And of course, don't forget to stop by over on my stream tonight at 8pm UK time, and we'll talk about all of this information. But anyway, guys, I've been Long Sensation. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Ready? Or...